Welcome back to episode 4, which is the fifth episode in this increasingly confusingly named series. Before assembling the cabinet I need to do as much cutting and drilling as I can. One of the big advantages of planning everything in SketchUp before you begin building is being able to drill and cut holes that would be difficult or even impossible once the cabinet is assembled. These two holes here are the fan intake on the base and the fan exhaust on the top. I don't have a hole saw or a bit large enough for these so I'm using a jigsaw with a small blade. These holes cut pretty well but we'll need a clean up with a file and some sandpaper. This is the new back bottom panel. This needs to be rounded over to match the profile of the side panel. Look at my tired face. For some strange reason I decided, on the spur of the moment, one night to put the case together. This job needs to be done in one hit. You can't leave it half done as the glue will set and any adjustment will mean breaking joints. The first thing I do is seal with PVA all the edges of the MDF boards that will need to be glued. The edges suck up the first coat of PVA and dries really fast. On this bottom half I will use standard white PVA with a longer drying time. This will give me longer to work things out. Later on I will switch to some faster setting Gorilla wood glue. This sets really fast. The first panel is the back bottom section. I line this up trying to get it to be flush with the base panel which will be next. Another layer of glue on all the parts that touch and then some 18 gauge bread nails. Now that first part is done I have to move fast. If it isn't square I still have the opportunity to finesse it before the glue dries. And that is the wrong edge. Clots. Tired. Very very tired. I'm slightly miffed as the back bottom panel is a little high. There is a lip that will need filling. I could pull that board and its nails out but that would risk damaging the wood and there is already quite a lot of work invested in that one board so I decide to fix it later. For now I make sure that the lip is even all the way up. The top section went on without drama or me remembering to press record. And next, with the camera rolling, we have the monitor bezel and the control panel. I discover as I fit these that I've cut the speaker holes slightly too low in the bezel board. I have a plan to cover this later. I can't brad nail the bottom of the marquee to the bezel so a clamp will hold that until the glue dries. Below the frame I've discovered one of the battens is a little too short behind the front panel. I take some planed wood shavings and layer it with glue to make some packing. The other side panel needs to be done all in one go. The faster setting Gorilla Glue means I need to work even quicker. 
And this is also the excuse for why I forgot to move the camera. It took me a few minutes to realise how big this cabinet is. It's huge. But that's it, all in one piece. Wood filler is marvellous stuff. I'm going round all the joints, filling in the cracks. I bet no one spotted the continuity haircut. Wood filler goes hard very fast on MDF. Again, I have to work quite quickly, filling in the cracks and then removing as much as possible with a scraper. It's messy work. Once that's set I go around with 120 grit paper to take off the worst of the filler. After I go over it again with 240 grit. Flicking the hair out of my eyes. I have the reactions of a mongoose. Well, an old tire mongoose. The brag nail holes need filling and the cracks I missed will get some attention. Once all that's done, I need to seal the MDF. I'm using 50-50 PVA and water mixed. This will make the fibres stand up. Stand by for live narrations. Right, what I need to do is fix this screen in somehow. Normally I would um, put in blocks um, that would kind of clamp it in on the edges, but because this is a, um, a plastic case and I'm not going to decase it, it's, it's a little bit springy. I don't really like the idea of doing that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these off cuts, this is actually the back bottom, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna get them stuck. Uh, I'm gonna put one across the back here, um, across where the, the visa mounts are, and uh, with a little bit of pressure there, and one across the that bottom section there, this is upside down, um, that will hold it uh, where the where the um, stand mount goes. They're, they're reasonably thick pieces of plastic. There is a little bit of give, so I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on. Um, and I've measured these gaps. You can see there's a gap here and a gap here. And uh, this one is 6.5 mil and this one is 7.2 mil. That's the, um, the, the screen is 
uh, the casing actually goes up a little bit um, and I need to get some blocks of wood this one this one's going to go in here but it's a bit too thick at the moment so I'm going to plane them down glue them in place and then I will screw the um, these supports in through these and that should hold it and, and be removable as well. And the screen needs to be removable if anything goes wrong. Uh, plus it needs to come out for the case to be painted. Um, so I'm going to get on some planing. I'm drilling these at an angle to make them easier to screw in once they are inside the case. Pilot holes first. Find screws that are the right length and a drill bit to match. It needs to be slightly larger than the screws as I don't want the threads to purchase on the boards being used to hold the screen. I need something to fix the marquee LED lights to. I plan to fix to the end of the battens inside the marquee and that's why I cut them that length. SketchUp planning worked well here. Some 4mm plywood will be ideal. Works better if you plug it in. Perfect. I deliberately cut one millimeter too large so that I could plane it down to a perfect fit. Next I need to take a slot from the top and bottom edges to allow air to flow. 
The exhaust fan is located right behind this board, so it should draw some air through. Nice. I later added a hole on the left side for the power lead to come through for the LEDs. I'll probably paint all this white later to reflect the light better. Remember what I was saying about cutting all the holes before you put it together? Well, I forgot one. The base speaker needs a hole. I'm using my vacuum cleaner to collect the dust as I cut. I start a hole first and then the jigsaw. This would have been much easier on a workbench in the garden. I sand the hole till it's nice and round. This one won't need a guard over it like the fans. And that's all the holes done, uh, apart from these ones. This is the back door. I'm using T-nuts to fix this in place. I didn't film it but I used a power driver to pull those T-nuts into the wood. And that's it for now, I will be handing this over to Terry who is arranging for it to be sprayed later this week. Once it comes back I will be filling its inside with arcade magic. If you want to see more of these videos um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and maybe even give me a like. See you on the next video.